everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And yes, we're having our truck coffee. And as you notice, behind us we have the T2. And we're doing some modifications to it. And I'll show you just a few. And we're going to make this a kit also um, right here on the bottom where this big block is for the cheek rest to move up and down on well it was hollow in there there was nothing there except for just a, a stud that went through there and then a screw went through those two studs or channel or whatever you want to call it and it left me a good place to put an adapter so I'll show you a picture of that right here and that's what's in here and now I can put a sling to the bottom And there we go. And now we need to make a way to hook a sling to the front side, to the forearm. I am not drilling into this wood. That's a pretty piece of wood and I'm not going to drill into it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it just the way it is, factory. So, as you notice, I put a barrel band on it and that barrel band and that strap is in my way goes on with the set screw on each side and I thread those so that the plastic screws mine are metal screws but it doesn't bother me to mar my uh, tank a little bit because I mean it that's where it's always going to ride, so it's always going to be hidden. You know, as long as you don't rupture nothing, you're, you're fine. You don't need that much pressure. So, I'm going to make another one of these that goes down here. This one, however, is going to have a round spot to put my sling to. And, um... I got to figure out a way to put a, a bipod on here. The only bad thing about the T2, I like the way it looks, but the T1 had a place to put my bipod. So now I'm, now I'm down to where I need to figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm probably going to make a, another barrel band. So the ones I'm printing right now are pretty much obsolete because I just realized that for the T2, I got to have a Picatinny rail. And so I'm going to have to make a wider band here and have the Picatinny rail up here and have the sling stud right here to hook my sling to. So that way I can put my bipod on too. So... Once I get the barrel bands and the sling parts made, I'm going to offer the barrel bands, the Picatinny rail, the sling stud, which will be three piece. It'll be a barrel band, a Picatinny rail, and a sling stud. And, and then this block will come in the kit too. So... I think that worked out pretty good. This probably could have been a little higher. And I may adjust that later on. But it works just fine the way it is. Uh, it should have been just a little bit higher by about, I don't know, 3 sixteenths of an inch. But anyway... 
I'm, 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 I'm in porn mode right now. Gun porn mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Now, I wanted to go over another mod, and that's for the magazines. Uh, these are nice magazines. I do like them. They're easy to load, and it, it's a great uh, magazine. The only problem that I have with it is I hate to shoot nothing but air. If I'm out in the woods and I realize, oh, I'm out, by the time I realize, oh, I'm out, it's already scared away anything I'm going to be shooting at. So... That alone would piss me off. <laughs> but I just, I realized the other day that I had shot this twice and didn't realize a pellet wasn't coming out of it. Never even thought to listen to the sound of it. <laughs> and uh, I shot twice without a pellet in it. Well, this magazine stops you on an open hole. I've changed that. Now, we're giving up one pellet. But for me, it's worth giving up one pellet to not scare off my prey. So, this should not load if it's no pellets left. So, when it gets to the last one, I have plugged it off. So, I went and 3D printed... A new part with a new o-ring and I'll show you what the original one looks like. Sure, that was a long trip. <laughs> Alright, so this one here is the original. This one here is mine. The difference is the width right here. There is no width here. They did that to maximize the shots. But I made a wider spot so the last hole is a blank. So that way the, uh, the lever can't go forward if there's no pellet. And that's the way I prefer my gun to shoot. Um, I have another gun that does that. All oh, the um, Challenger does that too, I believe. We're going to change that too. One day. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to go over how to change these. So, I'm going to pan you down here. If I got enough light, might have to move you over to that one there. But uh, we'll get set up and I'll show you how to change these wheels in your own. Alright, so now we've got the original. And that works really good. And we just take an Allen head screw or a screwdriver. And we take that screw out. Now, you want to try to keep this wheel from moving while you move this out of your way. This is a metal plate. And what it does, it's got a little ear here on the end that slides down in that slot right here. So you see that slot right there, all right? So now we slide that out of the way. Now, you want to back this off, but you got to lift to get it past that ear. All right. So now, take that out, move it out of the way, and get your new one. Now, this is where it gets tricky for me because I can't see. So I have to have a magnifying glass and plenty of light. 
So it's just finding that hole. I'm going to have to go in the big magnifying glass and put this together, so I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, we're trying to get it to the point where there's no stress on it. When it's right in between springing one way to the other side. So right here is your blank spot. So just note that that's where it's at right now. So now you've got the spring in the little tiny hole on the turnstile, which is right on the inside of that. There's a little teeny tiny hole. And then there's another little tiny hole on the back side of it here to hold that spring, the other side of the spring. So now we've got the tension halfway in between being tight this way or tight that way. So now we're going to turn that counterclockwise and then you're going to feel a catch. And what that is, is there's a little tip right in there that needs to come up. So you lift it just enough to get it to go past it. Now that thing fell in the, the correct hole. So now we can put our door back on, put our screw back in, and you want to make sure that it's going to turn. And works just fine. So now that you have it in that position, you can take that and turn it around. Lift up just to let the tit go by. Alright, so now we've got, on the bottom, there's a little nub right there that rides in a valley all the way around to the other side and that little tit is right here on the very bottom so it's going it's riding in the start of that track to go around so now we turn that around now that little tit is over here so Now, we put our lid back on it, get our Allen head screwdriver, I'll just take it in until it has drag. And that should have it. So now you'll have tension all the way up. And now you have a blank spot. Now, you see the difference? This one here is original, this one is not. This one has eight shots instead of nine. And that's how you change these. And it's really simple if you got good eyes. If you ain't got good eyes, you better have a big magnifying glass. But uh, anyway, we're we're going to do two barrel bands 
and a rear sling stud bracket to mount in that uh, butt stock. So the kit's probably going to come in three pieces and then the ring, well, mine, these will be up on bisonairriflesandparts.com and I'll put the link in the description to my uh, website and uh, these are going to be added tonight so they should be available tomorrow um, yes they come with the o-ring but if something happens that i run out of o-rings and i send them to you without the o-rings just take the one off the original and put it on there it'll be the same one so i'm just being nice with the o-rings because i have them <laughs> but uh anyway uh let me know, you guys, what you think about the T1, T2, and M1 uh, barrel band slash Picatinny rail slash sling stud barrel band and a rear sling stud adapter to bolt into place. Uh, anyway, don't forget to like, share comment subscribe and don't forget to have your trump coffee to finish your day out and you guys have a good one later